Hey amazing hackers, before jumping into the next lab, I have to tell you that I have coined a new cybersecurity term called drum roll please. NoSQL. Everybody calls this SQL injection, although it means nothing. So if this is SQL injection, then this is NoSQL injection. This is what I'm going to call it. This is how it looks like NoSQL. Okay. But if you cannot pronounce NoSQL, then you can also pronounce it as NoSQL. From now on, this is called NoSQL injection. Okay. Sounds interesting, right? All right. Let's go. NoSQL injection. Exploiting NoSQL injection to extract data. All right, let's see what it is. The user lookup functionality for this lab is powered by MongoDB NoSQL database. It is vulnerable to NoSQL injection. Okay, so this is the functionality. We need to find this. Okay, let's see. To solve this lab, extract the password of the administrator. Okay, so this is the user. Hmm, interesting. Then log into their account. You can also log into your own account using the following credentials Wiener and Peter. Nice. And uh, let's log in. Wiener and Peter. So it says your username is Wiener and uh, role is user. Let's see what Burpsuit has to say. Okay. So this is clicking on my account and this comes as login page and uh, this is the post login where we keep our credentials and this is the account it redirected to okay so from 302 to 200 okay it is logged in this is the user lookup functionality that we are talking about right the user lookup functionality okay so let's have a look what it is let's send it to repeater and let's send the request again okay so it doesn't have any data here, but the only data it has is this one user equals to some username. Okay. So here it is trying to call Viner user and it checks the database and it returns the details of Viner user. Okay. Previously, we have tried a lot of things to break the application starting from using single code to break the application okay so let's try that use a single code okay a single extra code okay so this is what it should cause trouble okay so let's try with this and let's see what happens okay let's paste a single code and send it okay so it is saying there was an error getting user details hmm interesting so previously what we have done is we have used percentage zero zero null character to use as a string terminator so that this extra code will be removed okay so this is what we wanted so this should become a normal single code and this should be rejected okay so now this is a valid syntax so this will be our payload okay so let's copy that and let's try that okay so remove this and paste this let's see what happens okay so now it seems like we have a valid syntax because the rest of the string has been terminated using this string terminator or null character so we have the user data let's see let's keep a random user and let's see what happens random asdf okay so it says could not find the user hmm what if we keep viner again so it is able to find the user Let's try to keep administrator administrator because this is the user that we are looking for. Let's see if this exists. Okay. The user administrator exists. So let's copy this. So this is the syntax right now. So what we will do right now is type some JavaScript to get the data related to administrator. Okay. So how we do that is we use the single quote again okay and uh, just after the single quote and some true condition okay so we need to generate this kind of scenario so that this is already true because administrator exists and if this is also true then administrator data 
will be shown again okay so we are not doing much to reveal data but we are trying to find a true condition it is kind of a blind injection okay so this is what we are trying to do so how we generate this kind of scenario okay so let's paste it and instead of this and we need to keep ampersand okay so this is the syntax for ampersand and for true condition what we need to do is this dot password which means this means administrator and administrator's password okay we don't know what password is we don't know how much length it is okay and we don't want to bombard the server with lots of uh, requests okay so we want to minimize as many requests as possible okay so to do that we try to find the length first okay so let's try to keep length equals to 50 and we are trying to find the length of the password less than 50 so no one will keep a 50 length password so this should return true right so let's copy this so this will be our payload right now paste it and from here control u to encode it okay so now it is encoded let's send it and let's see what happens okay we are getting the administrator data again so which means our syntax is valid first of all and the length of the password is less than 50 hmm interesting so what if we keep the password length as 5 instead of 50 so it should return false right so let's see what happens so let's keep 5 and let's send it and it says could not find the user because the whole thing returned false so it cannot find the user right so let's keep 10 and let's see what happens okay so let's keep 10 so let's see if it is less than 10 so why we are doing is why why not brute force this right so the main reason we are doing this way so we we are essentially decreasing the number of requests that we make to the server so we stay undetected okay so we remove this 5 and keep 10 let's send it and as you can see it is less than 10 okay so what you can do now is you can just brute force from 6 to 9 so you have reduced a lot of request right so let's send it to the intruder and instead of less than you can keep equals equals to okay so i'll change the syntax right over here to make it this way okay so i'm keeping equals to equals to which means if the password is equals to 10 only then the administrator de details will be coming okay so once it reaches the exact value of the password it should return the administrator details okay so i'll just copy this 10 okay and i'll add it and uh, i'll go to the payloads and use numbers and you know the numbers the numbers are from 6 to 9 okay and step one we have only four requests so we are not creating any suspicion and you can keep one or ten it doesn't matter okay so let's start the attack and as you can see at length equals to eight we have a different response okay so administrator details has been revealed using this we have concluded that password length equals to eight so using this data we will try to modify this payload okay so till here it is same okay and uh, what we'll need to do is this dot password which means the administrator's password is actually a string right it is some characters so we can uh, select any character and we can ask the server to retrieve that particular character only okay so in order to do that you can ask the server to send a particular element in the password and evaluate it to a character 
if the zeroth character of the password is a then return it if the second character of the password is a then return the administrator details as usual if the third character of the password is a then return it okay so we need to brute force this value and as usual at the end you need to keep a null character as a string terminator to get rid of other characters okay essentially a single quote over here so why we want to start from zero if you know a little bit of programming a list or a string will start from zero okay so if we want eight characters we need to keep the password from zero to seven okay so this is what we need to keep so this should be our payload right now so let's copy this let's close this remove this whole thing paste this and from here just encode this okay so now you need to select this one because we need to brute force from 0 to 7 and you need to brute force this one okay so you need to use a cluster bomb so payload one is numbers from 0 to 7 and payload 2 is a brute forcer and we are only looking for a single character so there's a huge reduction in payload request and you can also reduce the payload request if it doesn't have any numbers okay so you can find out that over here in the tip the password uses only lowercase letters okay so you can remove this and you have essentially reduced 80 requests okay once it is ready then start the attack and here i just want to speed things up so i'll keep 30 requests and let's send it okay it's finished so in order to organize this so you need to select first payload one because it starts from 0 to 7 so you need to set this one in order first and then go to length okay so click it twice and this will be your password okay as you can see it has eight characters and you can just type this one so h t j u j r f e so this is the administrator's password so let's copy this let's go back to the lab just uh, log out log in with administrator and password let's log in and that should solve the lab all right then i hope you enjoyed noscal injection and i'll see you guys in the next one